Yes, yes, let's go. Woo! All right. <laughs> Guys, I'm pumped. Um, finally getting to go, you know, take a trip with my camper and everything. Um, making a stop here in Pennsylvania. I want to check on this uh, potential camper that I see over here to my left. It's another Palomino. Um, because this is for a short bed truck, I, I really don't like the, the setup that it is right now. And, you know, if I can make a little bit of an upgrade, uh, I'm going to do that here shortly with my camper if possible you know if i can find the right mixture of price so forth you know so i'm just kind of starting my look let's get over here just got to start the trip uh looking forward to it got the whole rig set up got my dream rig going you know and uh just gonna show you how how much fun this is to have you know this kind of setup so you know maybe you can dream about it yourself achieve it yourself one day because i know i love having it let's get over here before we're heading up to lake cayuga well guys after looking at this thing and you know apparently it's already under a sales contract but they're waiting on a part and let me tell you i mean i wouldn't buy this thing not for the price i mean it's, it's taped all the way all the seams are like taped so that to me says there's really some bad problems they got a tarp on it they don't have a tarp on any other one around here in this whole parking lot but i've got a tarp on this one read into these little things um you know again just a real quick like visual inspection of the outside and everything the fact that that tarps there you know it's got i wouldn't again i'd be a little bit worried about purchasing this thing but hey somebody's gonna buy it anyway so that's just how these things go you know so i'm sure somebody probably spent anywhere from you know 12 to fifteen thousand on it and you know i wouldn't but oh well that's actually something I found, whether it be towing a boat or this whole rig that I'm towing right now. Uh, you know, just going a little bit under the speed limit. You know, if it's 65 doing, you know, 63 or so, or 55, you know, just doing a little bit over or something like that. What you're going to see is I'm getting past a lot. But the other thing, too, is I'm having a more enjoyable driving experience of just like setting the cruise, letting it happen and just going because I mean if there's one thing I can't stand on some of these long trips like this it's just the the constant having to get off my cruise because somebody is doing you know way too slow or something like that or you know they're they're messing it up or they're coming up on you too fast you're coming up on the next vehicle too fast and so you know just kind of setting the cruise at a nice steady pace I mean you'll get there a little bit slower than normal but you'll get there and uh, you know it just might even save a little gas while doing it that way too so keep that in consideration slow and steady wins the race man look at how beautiful pennsylvania is pennsylvania is just a gorgeous state it really is i mean from everything from gettysburg that's here to these ridges i mean they don't have uh they've even got some some places you can go skiing here uh they're not really you know huge mountains like you would encounter in Colorado or anything, but man, Pennsylvania, beautiful state. I love the atmosphere. I love the people here. Uh, you know, the way people think and the way they kind of lean. It's just uh, just good, good heart, heart of the earth people here in Pennsylvania. So if you ever, you know, want to come, come visit Pennsylvania sometime. It's a beautiful place. Great camping, awesome fishing. You got the Susquehanna River here. Great place to come visit. There's the uh, Statue of Liberty over there. That's kind of cool, little mini Statue of Liberty. That's actually a good area right there for some smallmouth. If you're up here and want to fish Susquehanna, Wrightsville, right there by that statue. Good place to catch some smallies. That's one of the best smallmouth river fishing right there that you can find too. Look at that sky, guys. Beauty everywhere around you in nature. Just gorgeous sky gorgeous mountain ridge there with just beautiful green luscious trees america baby Woo! beautiful susquehanna river running by it this is what traveling is i mean this is what makes trips like this just these beautiful sights beautiful nature that's all around us that we often probably take for granted all the time all right guys so i'm just kind of thinking as i'm driving along here and just you know want to kind of give you a comparison of what it's like between the two trucks that i owned again you know the other one was a was not equipped to handle the weight of the camper uh there are plenty of 250s out there and that size of a truck that 
seem to be able to hold the weights of some of these campers, but let me tell you, the, the difference has been night and day between riding this. I mean, this is, has been such a smooth ride with this Dodge uh, in comparison to the uh, other truck that I had, which was a Ford, which was an older Ford. And again, I'm not, I'm not taking a side here between Fords and Dodge, Dodge and Chevy and you know all that. I'm just trying to give you the uh, ins and outs of kind of owning one of these campers and um, you know the Dually is definitely a better ride. So you know when I consider things like I want to be able to take this uh, camper from Texas to New York and back again and you know that really factors into uh, what I would purchase as a consumer standpoint would be you know I'd probably be looking for the dual wheels uh, the dually access access um, to to support the weight of a camper even a 2,000 pound camper I mean it's been a very good ride I've not had any problems towing this thing uphill or anything like that again most of the time a, a 250 and 350 size truck you know from what I've heard is basically about the same engine so as a consumer and somebody who's, like I said just riding along in this let me tell you the the ride for me today has been very enjoyable um, in this uh, King Ranch version or sorry Longhorn <laughs> I forgot what truck I own uh, the Longhorn Laramie edition uh, of the Dodge so you know if you're looking for a, a truck you know consider the Dodge again I've been very happy with the ownership of this truck overall just how well it rides you know how smooth it is uh, even without the camper now that the camper's on there it has been very it has been butter the whole ride has pretty much been butter i mean anytime you hit good bumps you're gonna feel good bumps but right now it's smooth sailing and it feels really good really glad i have this vehicle uh, the other thing i would say is is you know uh the, the wheel wells on this are pretty wide. I've had, I've had to purchase some extra equipment just to accommodate the wheel width in uh, the, the dually wheels on the back of this truck from Ryko Titan. They make swing away jack plates along with some extension plates that go out there as well. And you know, those, those swing aways really help me inside of my garage to, to keep the camper over to the side and allow my boat to go in there as well so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh you know next is when we get up to new york at lake cayuga i'm gonna start camping there i'm gonna be camping at a place called sned acres family campground a lot of the state parks are still closed so that's where i'm gonna be camping at uh which you know shout out to them because a good thing one of the things that's always hard about traveling with this type of setup is that these campsites will only allow you to hold maybe you know one vehicle there and you know for me with traveling with my boat and having so much having so much gear in my boat you know I like to have that really close to my camper I like to be in close proximity so I can go out there rig up and a lot of these campsites don't allow you to have your boat and truck there even though they'll fit and you know that irritates me to no end so I always call around and really ask places like okay hey will this fit if I bring this you know can I use this there so that's really something to consider with this type of rig is that they're not always gonna allow you to hold your boat at your campsite or your truck um, your truck will be able to do there though typically have overflow or something like that and they'll want you to park there or you can purchase another site that's taking kind of the uh, cost effectiveness out of traveling with one of these campers out of the equation because you're already spending a little bit more money in gas to get it there but then you've got to accommodate you know towing your boat so just keep that in mind just something to think about something I've learned by, by doing this I'm looking forward to this camping trip uh, camping and fishing trip um, that's why I run this rig uh, to be able to be mobile like this and just pop and go you know maybe even if it's a long trip overnight I can stay in the, the camper you know, that's what I love about being able to camp like this so I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of this kind of content because uh, we're gonna be making more here in the, the future but for now if you have any questions any, about running this rig uh, let me know down in the comments section below. I'll do some videos here in the future about breaking down costs and so forth. But 
know, let's uh, let's just get up here to the campsite, get set up, and you know, as always, guys, don't back up, don't back down. Y'all have a good one. See you around.